Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So this video is about the uh, May update for Axie Infinity. They, they've jumped the uh, they've jumped the month a little bit, <laughs> a few days early, um, but uh, it's always good to see uh, they are very uh, organised and regular about their updates. So it's kind of good to go through some of the numbers. Um, Axie Infinity, obviously one of the key blockchain games at the moment. Um, so kind of good to see. And they're going through an interesting period because they, they've just they launched their, their own um, side chain. So um, they're saying growth has skyrocketed with the implementation of Ronin. So Ronin is their NFT scaling solution. So uh, Ethereum gas prices uh, very expensive at the moment. Uh, Axie Infinity NFTs are held on Ethereum, uh, but now you can move them over to Ronin um, and, and do um, particularly uh, breeding. Uh, so, so you don't pay the big gas fees for breeding, which has been a big issue for Axie Infinity for um, six months or so. Um, done their funding round, um, seems like a long time ago now, um, 7.5 million uh, Series A for Sky Mavis, that's the company behind Axie Infinity, uh, and a whole bunch of work on other stuff. So battle, the new battle version, um, battles at the moment are a little bit static and boring. Uh, a DEX, a decentralized exchange, so so you can swap tokens um, on, on this uh, scaling solution. Okay, um, so the, the key thing we see here, and, and it's sort of been hidden away for a long time for Axie, is um, the battles. Um, so, so, so with Axie, the, if you're trading NFTs, that's happened on Ethereum. Um, and if you've been breeding, that's been happening on Ethereum. So that's all been you're be able to see that on chain. We can look at the on chain public data and see what's going on. But they a lot of but the battles have been happening off chain. So battles have been happening off you know, sort of centralized servers. Um, so we've not been able to check that on on chain. So it's we're, we're assuming Axie Infinity um, uh, Sky Mavis are not lying about these things. No reason to to think think that. I mean I know them fairly well, so I don't think they would. We can see here that these are their this is their sort of um, their DAUs in terms of ver the various platforms they're using. So they have uh, have about. So the majority of, of got six, say 65,000 DAUs, daily active users, so that's pretty good. That would be by far and away the biggest um, blockchain game, apart from uh, um, the slightly weird uh, one on WAX, which is um, Aliens, uh, what is it called? Alien Worlds. Uh, I'm not going to go into that discussion, but anyway, um, Action Infinity, one of the biggest blockchain games in terms of activity now. We can see uh, 11,000 on Windows, a few on Mac, mainly on Android. Um, and this is through um, the uh, APKs um, and uh, also test flight. So they got 4,000 on test flight yeah, on, on iPhone. Um, so we can see here the growth thing, which we sort of really care about. We can see here the Google Analytics. Um, so really, really taking off here. Um, so up to uh, so this is looking like this is the monthly. So this should be yeah. So, so sorry, so 65,000 DAUs um, and almost 600,000. Um, MAUs, but this is visiting the website. Okay, so yes, yeah, Google. Sorry, this is Google uh, Analytics traffic. So this is just visiting the website. So we can see, you know, a very strong uptake of interest. There's been a lot of publicity around some of the stuff they've been doing, particularly around kind of play to earn in um, the, in places like um, the Philippines. So there was a, a documentary film came out um, showing how people were earning money um, playing Axing. Uh, we can see here. So this is looks like data from uh, DAP Radar. This is their NFT tracker. So you can see here, this is tracking. Um, this is Ethereum. I don't, I'm not sure this is tracking the Ronin stuff actually, um, but we can see the volume um, over the uh, over the week. It's been almost seven million dollars of, of trading. Um, that will be the axes. Um, so that's number one. Although this will depend a little bit on what's going on with these other <laughs> with these other um, uh, kind of projects. So you could cherry pick some data there. Um, Thirty thousand sales, eight from eight thousand wallets. Um, so uh, interesting. This is this this is this documentary I was talking about, the Play to Earn documentary. Uh, I've actually not actually viewed it myself yet, but I, I, I know quite a lot about what's been going on in the Philippines over the last kind of six months. Um, stuff about battles. Let's go to Ronin. So here's Ronin. So this is um, so there is this issue about migration. So you do have to um, if you've got your stuff on Ethereum, you do have to migrate it over to Ronin. Uh, so you're basically going through a bridge, a blockchain bridge that makes sure the assets are. Um, are, are not double counted. So once you've taken it from Ethereum, it has to go to the other blockchain. You can't, you, you don't, not like you're creating a mirror version on, on, on the rolling blockchain. So there is a security model there. Um, you have to pay the gas fee as well um, to, to move stuff over, so that can be expensive. But anyway, um, we're seeing here, um, so we're having $23 million worth of trading on, on the Ronin um, blockchain. That would also include uh, um, uh, the breeding as well, but breeding is pretty cheap. Um, so we can see there's a lot, a lot more activity now happening on Ronin, which is what you'd expect because it's a, once you get your stuff over there, then it's free, effectively free gas and and very and faster than Ethereum. So 300% volume, uh, Axie NFT trading up 160%, um, and uh, the quantity of NFT sales is up 400%. 
um, 67,000 Axie holders on Ronin. So that's just pretty substantial if you think, you know, that's pretty much the same as the DAUs. Um, so, so I have to admit I have not I have not um, transitioned my stuff over to Ronin yet. I probably will do uh, for some of it. Um, and they got so you can see they got 10 million dollars locked in the bridge contract. So the bridge contract is the bit that, that uh, connects Ronin and, and Ethereum. So. Uh, we have the DEX uh, they mentioned already. Um, they have this this RON, so this is their own uh, token, the Ronin token. Uh, that's going to be sort of the um, underlying uh, cryptocurrency for the Ronin platform, and that that's going to be part of the sort of the DEX. So that I imagine that'll be the the token that you um, that you kind of trade through. Um, and Ramp Ramp is a fiat gateway, um, and so you but basically buy you can buy uh, tokens on the Ronin blockchain uh, using your credit card. You have to go through Ramp. Uh, and three hundred twenty thousand dollars um, has been bought in ETH, so you're basically buying ETH um, on the Ronin blockchain. Um, so, so sort of all systems go really for Axie. It, it has, you know, in, in a sense, this is um, kind of kind of uh, Ronin is sort of un unblocking the um, demand that that's been around on Ethereum really for a year or so, um, and gas fees have just sort of really really limited what's going on with Axie Infinity, um, particularly actually it's, it's driven up the price of Axies um, too much, so so that they've been inaccessible. So one of the things about Ronin is is now people can start breeding, uh, and get and um, and and the price of, of will will go down. Uh, you saw what, what you want because you want to allow people um, to to get on board without spending three hundred dollars buying the three axes you need. You need three axes to, to start playing the game. So it's all good. I would keep an eye on this, obviously. Uh, but it is good to see. Um, you know, this is not. A, you know, they've raised seven and a half million dollars now. But this is not a particularly well-funded project. It's not from a big developer. It's from a new company, from a startup, and they've really built this from scratch. This is all community-led. Um, so it's, it's kind of good to see that people are um, getting it. Uh, I would say it's not actually a great game at the moment um, in terms of game design. Um, it's kind of um, a lot. A lot's going to kind of happen on that. But people like it. Um, it's a great community. And obviously, you know, to a certain degree, a lot of people are playing this to earn money. So this is sort of the uh, the first fulfilment of what we thought in blockchain games where people um, are not necessarily going to be focused too much on the, on the gameplay. People are not going to be comparing this to Hearthstone or something like that. Uh, but they, it's good enough that people want to play and they can earn money doing it. Um, and, and obviously, as the community builds, sort of the, the whole ecosystem builds and, and everyone feels they're kind of gaining success together. And it's not like the developers just making loads of money. Um, you know, everyone, everyone's doing well, and that's what we like to see in blockchain games. That's what we think blockchain games are about. So anyway, thanks for watching this one. Um, if you haven't checked out Axie Infinity, um, go and check the website at least, and and, and add to the uh, <laughs> add to the traffic there. Uh, but thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel, and see you again soon.